Well, hello there again, friends and family. And as you can see, it's a bright, sunshiny day, and we're out in the focus. And you might wonder where we're going. Well, we're going to Superfoods. Oh, yeah. I told you we would again. Now, I told you we'd go over to the main location next time. And we were going to do that this past Thursday morning. It's now Monday, December 7th. But we couldn't do that. Because we had to wait to sign for a cell phone. Which never came. And uh, got rescheduled for delivery Friday, which never came. Then got rescheduled for Saturday, and it finally came around noon. So I didn't get to go to Superfoods. But, even when I was thinking about going to Superfoods today, I thought, well, if I go to the other side of the river, that's just for a look-see. Take y'all along for the ride and the adventure. I just really need to get a few things. And today's Monday, which is probably not the best time to show you the store because it's, you know, just uh, been through the three largest shopping days with being Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I figured the stocking level is going to be about as low as it can be. But in my mind, that's a good thing. See it when it's at its least, not when it's at its best. And since if I go on that side of the river, it cost me more money because of city sales tax, which if I stay on the east side of the river, which is what I live on, there is no city sales tax up where our superfoods is located on this side of the river. It's just outside the city. So immediately I, let, I say 4%, and I'm good with that. So if y'all be good in the car, nobody acts up, y'all jump all on in, buckle up, Mind your manners, and I'll take you on in the store with you. We'll take a look at just how it is on probably its least stock day, Monday. And you can compare it to how it was the last time I went here, which was on November the 2nd, uh, 35 days ago, on a Monday. <laughs> That's why I said I'd probably take you on Thursday, which would probably be the best stock day. Anyway, let's all head on over there and do just a little bit of shopping and see what it's all about. Okay, come on. So y'all, here we are again. Some good old superfoods from my side of the river. Yep. Ooh. We got Jiffy cornmeal mix there for 59 cents a box. Ain't a bad deal. So, y'all be good and uh, be quiet. Don't act up. Maybe I'll get you some cookies, okay? Let's see. Bread don't look too bad, considering it's a Monday. Got the store brand there for 90 cents. Turn it that way so y'all can see some of it. Of course, I go for the Marita. old-fashioned Cosmo two dollars and 24 cents but I like that bread and while I still can I'm gonna buy what I like now I'll scrimp on something not my bread and I gotta get some uh, hot dog buns they're only 90 cents too. So, at least we'll save money on them, right? Now I'm looking for something special. Which is hard to come by over here. And that's bagels, yep. Bagels are hard to come by in Tallahassee. But it just so happens they have a package. Only one. Now, of course, tomatoes are getting out of the season. So, we got these here. They're $1.69. Oh. 
product of the USA. Other than that, we don't know. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get me some more black olives. I'm glad y'all reminded me. And I need some uh, hamburger. Hamburger dill pickles. We'll get us a little jar of these. 227. I don't know whether that's good or not. It's what I like. And I also like this Heinz hot dog relish, $1.43. Because I I'm going to have some hot dogs. Got our peanut butter there. I got big ones. Got a little hole in. Nothing bad. Let's go around here. Get some of the things I was wanting to get. Like lettuce. Which has gone up some more, dollar for the pole. Guess it's that time of year. That's a nice looking lettuce. Nice, firm, heavy head. Cucumber, 63 cents. Celery's went up. Dollar thirty. Yeah, I need some more garlic. I believe in that fresh garlic, and I don't mind spice world. Two dollars. Plenty of apples. And that's something I wanted to say about ever since this virus started. I have never seen anything, or at least here where I'm at, whether it was Superfoods or Walmart, our only two choices here in our little small town, where we were ever slim on fresh food, fresh fruits and vegetables. Never not once. Now, canned goods, box goods, dry goods, oh yeah. And to me, that people were buying more of those to put back. But fresh goods, fruits, vegetables, stuff like potatoes and onions have always been abundant. Now I'm going to go ahead and get me some potatoes. Now I prefer those russets. I got the butter gold there for 283, five pounds. Or red potatoes, 329 for five pounds. Over here they got Idaho's for 275. Yep. Plenty of cranberry sauce. Dollar oh seven. You know, I saw some people were having problems with that cranberry sauce. And over here they got the russets two for six. So guess what? We're gonna get these from Idaho. Potatoes are just something cheap to get. You know, that's something about uh, eating slim. It's knowing 
What do we? Zucchini's down a dollar sixty-nine. Ooh, that okra gun high, three eighty-nine pounds. Of course, avocados only 49 cents each. Huh. Nice and firm they are. Broccoli, $2.79 a pound. Green beans, $1.89 a pound. Yellow squash, $1.99 a pound. All product of USA. Of course, we ain't gonna talk about that corn. 225 for three years. Uh-uh. And of course, we gotta get us some green onions. And they looking pretty nice. You know how I love to have my green onions or spring onions as I call them. 58 cents a bunch. Hold on. We got carrots for 73 cents a pound. But we going down, we don't need none. We're gonna go down here and get us some cabbage. And that's another thing. Cabbage, 66 cents a pound. Oh, and they got rutabagas, big ones too, 95 cents. See, that's cheap eats, folks. And you can get a whole lot of it. Cheap, good, healthy, packed with vitamins and minerals. So there we got the cabbage. We're also picking up some ginger. It's that time of year, making those homemade chicken soups and we need to if they got some hot dogs pick up some of those and some bologna just happen to have my favorite kind guatlin dollar sixty a pound it is Plenty of hot dogs. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get us some guac. Been a while since we had them. Get us some of these jumbos. $1.38 a pound. Yep, one pound. Plenty of sausage. Now I was going to get some red hot. Y'all probably don't know what these are. But if you want to know, I'll do a video on them. See the guy. Extra hot. And then they got regular. I'm gonna pick up some. What do y'all think? And I don't need no bacon, but they got plenty of it. I mean, so far, the store ain't in that bad of shape. Considering beans are still a little picked over, and so is the rice. Here again dry goods storage good and if you haven't got your beans and rice put back yet keep working on it folks those are your two basics right there beans and rice and it don't get no cheaper than that of course as you see hamburger helper it's pretty much taking a hit it's so stuff like the macaroni and cheese. I don't buy none of that. I can make my own. Can't y'all? Spaghetti sauce. They got a big hole over there. Don't know what kind. Probably the real cheap stuff. Uh, I 
all the cheaper stuff, you know, on the bottom shelf for 94 cents, Del Monte, Food Club, and Hunt's, all oh, a little bit slimmer, but the rest of it looks adequate. Plenty of pasta. And you know I just gotta get beanie weenies. Gracie likes them too. You see, these are the things I'm seeing that are slim. It's like these completes. Just throw them in the microwave for 60 seconds. Ain't much left. And then things like Chef Boy RD. 97 cents a can. And you know, people could be stocking up. It could also be because it don't take nothing to fix it. And they'll last quite some time. Or the kids are all home, you know, being homeschooled now. That could be part of it. Same way with the chilies, canned chilies. Pretty slim. But the rest of the canned goods, yeah, there are some holes. Like over here in the greens, beans looked okay. And that, spinach, some of the beans, like green beans, a little slim, but there are some. And that, there's tomatoes, okra, and corn. A little bit, well, it's gone. <laughs> Margaret Home seasoned cabbage, which is fine cabbage, canned cabbage, if you're interested, is pretty slim too. But we got corn, whole kernel, 76 cents. Food club, you can go up here, plenty of that. Whole kernel corn, 67. Always wanna go high class. You can go with Libby's for 85. Not much of Del Monte. Of course, that's real high class. A dollar for the four can. I ain't gonna pay that. Corn's corn. And as always, and this I still don't understand, tomatoes products. Canned. They've been slim for a while now. It was coming back. But looks like it had a run on it. Just like down here. Let's see. Sweet Sue is wiped out. Yeah, that's chicken and dumplings, stuff of that nature. All gone. Yep. Even my favorite chicken that I normally buy, you know, that dark meat chicken in the can, it's gone. Woo, made a run on Vienna sausages too. It's like I'm saying, people are buying up things at the store for a while. Same way with sardines, 94 cents a can. And then tuna, as well as salmon which is 312 for the black top, 345 for the pink beauty. Where you go here, double Q, wild caught, 331 a can. And that, and tuna's pricing, up to a dollar four a can, five ounce tuna and water. 
You can go with the star kiss or the bumblebee. Same price. Larger 12 ounce cans of light tuna and water, 219 for the star kissed or in the vegetable oil, like the kitties prefer, 219. They do like their tuna and vegetable oil. And I like to treat them on Sundays. So, we're going to be a good papa and pick them up some cans. I told them I'd get them a treat. They're all stuck together. There we go. It's hard to do with y'all. I put y'all back in the buggy. Well, they had plenty of Rotel. Finally, you know, they were out of that for a while. They had it last time we were here. Before that, pretty much gone. It's about 14 a can. Plenty of mayo of all kinds. Yeah, we got plenty of grits, oats, plenty of coffee, even my favorite kind, rice meal. Yep, plenty of tea, plenty of cookies. Now I told you I'd pick you up some cookies. If you were good, so far you have been. I think y'all been good. I'm gonna get you some Reese's Chips Ahoy. These are darn fine cookies. I don't buy them often. In fact, y'all can have them on the ride home. I, of course, am going to have my chicken and biscuit. Not on the ride home. I mean, they got plenty of saltines of all kinds. I expect soups are going to be pretty battered up. Cereals. Plenty of cereal. Look at this. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And like I say, soups. Even consider now, considering just went through the weekend shopping plus holiday shopping you know Thanksgiving it looks better than it's looked in a long long time you got some big cans there of Heinz chicken noodle cream of chicken cream of mushroom anywhere from 342 376 of course, that's three pounds of soup. <laughs> yep. 49.5 ounces. That's a lot of soup. Got Chunkies for Campbell's, 241. Or you can go over here and get you some Progresso for any, for $1.45. Now this hearty chicken pot pie style with dumpling, that's some good stuff. Not as good as mine, but close enough. But overall, soups are looking better. Still got some ramen. Even though ramen's went up, I remember when these prior to the virus were oh 10 cents now they 20 
Choice Cup Soups 33, used to be a quarter. Of course, want to go high class cup of soup. Neeson, 43 cents. I used to buy these uh, right here, different flavors for my son. He wasn't much on cooking, as you all know. Well, time to go look at the meat. And they're putting more in. Always got to check the manager's specials. And here's some beef chuckaroos. $3.99 a pound. Reduced. And some New York strip. Reduced to eight a pound. Now I don't need that meat. Country style ribs, dollar seventy five a pound, or pork rib and chops, dollar fifty five, or dollar forty five for loin first cut pork chops. That ain't bad. Or you can get you a half of a pork loin cut up and chopped for a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty a pound. And then I got pork steaks, dollar ninety-nine. Ooh, they got those Boston butts for a dollar twenty-five a pound. Same way. Dollar twenty-five a pound right here for pork loin roast. These are nice. Much leaner than the Boston Bud. Let's check out this hamburger. Plenty of hamburger. Got the $73.27, pound. It don't matter what size package you want. $1.95. This is what I get. The flavors in the fat. You no, know, a lot of people gotta be snobs. They gotta go over here and get the ground chuck uh, for 85 cent lean. 15% fat. That's 330 a pound. No. I'll take this any day. Far more tastier. Now I did find some ground chuck over here. 80% lean, 20% fat. 240 pounds. That ain't bad. If I need hamburger, I'd buy this. Plenty of beef. Steaks. Beef chuck eyes. Woo! Five nine nine a pound. High dollar filet mignons, fourteen dollars a pound. No. Of course, could go with the beef sirloin, and this is all Angus Pride. Four ninety nine a pound. Sirloin steaks used to be 
what was called the American Steakhouse Steak. This is what you got. This is what steak was for most Americans back 30, 40, 50, 60, 70s. Oh yeah. Of course, now it's all about the ribeye. And ribeyes, they up to $12 a pound. Yep. Whether you want them thick slice, thin slice, of course you can get it all here. They cut their own meat. Now if I was gonna get some, y'all already know it. I'd be getting the T-bone. Cause that comes with a little bit of filet and a New York strip all on the same cut. Right here's a nice one. Look at the marble look in that there steak. Ooh, nine dollars a pound too it is. So I can have me a New York strip and a filet. There's plenty of marbling. Ooh. I wish I needed some steak. And I don't need to be spending more money this month. This month's always slim month. Christmas coming up. Everything. Plus, I have a lot of bills due, yearly bills, in December. But you can get a sirloin tip roast here for $3.99. These are good. Or, beef chuck roast, $4.99 a pound. Yep. And, of course, got plenty of chicken. I'm just really shocked that on a Monday they're still as well stocked as they are considering all the videos I hear people pointing out how bad things are in some of their areas. But there's a whole lot of reasons for that. And we'll talk about some of them once we get out of the grocery store. Well, we got fryer thighs here for a dollar a pound. 18 piece bucket of chicken 155 pounds see that's got all kinds of pieces in it breast thighs drumsticks wings you know these fryer drumettes $2.99 a pound they ain't nothing but baby drumsticks why would you do that? No. Wings, 225 pound. You know, if I wanted to do something like wings and be smart about it, I'd go over here and get me some drumsticks for $1.10 a pound, which they went up 10 cents since we were here on November the 2nd. And thighs did the same thing. You know, that's what I normally buy. They're $1.10 a pound. Of course, if you want to eat fine, get you some gizzards, $1.20. That's fine eating. I'll show you how if you want. And there we got the meat. And that. I'm gonna get me some ham. Why? I just want some ham. I just want a little bit of ham. Yep. I'm gonna get this one. Nickelberries good stuff. Of course it is. 365 pounds. I ain't buying Smithfield. Sorry. Okay. So. Let's head her on down to baking aisle. 
plenty of flour. Salsa looks a little bit run over. I buy that from Amazon Pantry. Better price. Plenty of cornmeal. Sugar's a little bit slim. I got the Domino Cane for six ninety two. That's ten pounds. Or she can go up here and get a big old bag, twenty five pounds of crystal sugar. And it's not saying pure cane. So that's probably from GMO sugar beets. If you don't mind, it's thirteen thirteen a pound. Or for twenty five pounds. Thirteen dollars thirteen cents. Excuse me, ma'am. Sneak by you here. Plenty of oil of all kinds. Plenty of seasoning. See? They even got some of Southern Boy Prepper's favorite and Lone Star Pioneers. Some of that there Tony Chacheries. Creole seasoning. Good stuff. I use it. They sent me some too. And I'm using it. I don't see no. Oh, oh. There's the magic. And I've been looking for this because there ain't no better seasoning in my opinion for salmon than right here. Chef Paul Proudhon. Magic Salmon Seasoning. But I'll tell you what, it works well with any fish. Just jam up stuff and I'm getting some. You know, he has that world famous restaurant down in New Orleans. K. Paul's Louisiana Kitchen. Oh yeah, I know it all too well. well that's a real long story. <laughs> So we we'll set y'all back in the buggy. No, you can't have your cookies yet. Plenty of toilet paper here. Apparently we're not panicking about the toilet paper. Not a bad price. I mean, it's toilet paper went up. I don't care what you say. You can get you some here, simply done, 12 double rolls for 406, or the Fiora bath tissue, 12 double rolls for 499. Yeah. Well, let's see, 264 two ply sheets. Ah, uh, what's Fiora say? Two hundred and sixty-four two-ply sheets. Well, hey, for the difference in ninety-three cents, almost a dollar. My rear derriere won't mind simply done if I needed some, which I don't. Plenty of laundry detergent. Plenty of foils, wraps. There are some holes, aluminum foil. Ooh, cat food aisle looking a little slim here. Hmm. I better not let Gracie, Trixie, Cleo, Spooky, Speedy, Magoo, and Elrod see this. 
They will just panic. Oh yeah. But you know always I gotta get kitty some treats. Or they'll never let me rest. Trixie, she looks through the bag. One of these for them all will get me by. It's a small price to pay. For the kitty crew. And I need some cat litter. Yep. And come to find out, Trixie's favorite now is non-clumping. I never knew that. Yep. She likes this stuff. 482. So let me throw a bag, chunk of bag, underneath the boogie for Of course, dog food's looking a little bit slim too. You see that over there? They look like the puppies. Food is running a little on the low side. And I've heard that from many other viewers that pet food's looking slim in their areas too. You wouldn't think that would be an issue. Maybe people are stocking up, I don't know. Just saying. Plenty of hams down there. We don't need a ham. Still got a big old freezer full of turkeys here, butterball. And that. Yep. Got some others here too. I don't got no place to put them. Or, normally, I'd get some. They ain't on sale yet. I'll keep an eye out. They go on sale. It's the butterball, that's $1.57 a pound. And what would I do with a 20 pound turkey? Ooh, $32 for a turkey. <laughs> Low. We don't need no soda. We don't drink soda. We're good on paper plates, you know, bachelor china. Could use a few more paper towels. Since we let Gracie in the house, you know, she's a little kid. She's just learning. So, as could be expected, she's sort of having, you know, kitten issues, getting into stuff. Now, I will say one thing for her. She has went and used that litter box since the very first day. I showed her where it was at. I brought her in. That was the first thing I did was show her where the litter box was. Plus, I just cleaned it out. And she has never not failed to use it. Excellent. Now, poor old Trixie gets old. As she gets older, she sometimes has accidents. I think she thinks she's in the litter box all the way, and she's not. That's why now I keep cardboard down. Just in case. I need some paper towels. That's 102 ply sheets. 480, six roll. Over here for 490. Nine. Paper towels, 118. Two ply. Well, for 19 cents more, as you can see, you're getting Nearly a hundred and something more paper towels. 
So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get some of these Fior. Unless, got to come down here and look at these. Oh, that's four big rolls with uh, 128 two ply towels for three dollars. Now I'll just do what I got. Math is making my head hurt today, and I don't need no toilet paper. Don't need no candy, don't eat much. Many of y'all sent me some. So I'm stocked up for quite some time on candy, no more than what I eat. And don't need no bottled water. So we'll just head back up this way, okay? Here we go. Try to make it up this way because this these aisles are real narrow. These two got to pick up some milk for Trixie, so hold on. Two eighteen half a gallon. I know y'all gonna get on me. Keep buying half gallons. That's what fits in my fridge. I got a tiny fridge. Anyway, we don't drink that much. Now I could get a whole gallon for 381. So I could save a little money. But we don't drink enough, and it always goes bad. Don't need no juice. Woo, they got a pile of hams over here too. Look at that. Now let me stop by my chicken coop here. Yep, right here. Of course, every year they uh, stack the eggs over here, cut down on the size of area they put eggs in for hams. They do this every year. But let's see what we got here. Just in case y'all wanted to know, this buck portion hams buck sixty a pound. Uh, it's Smithfield up here. Same buck sixty. Sugardale, dollar sixty. So, no matter what brand, they're a dollar sixty a pound. Plenty of them because this is the second place they've had hams. So we got to go over here to the chicken coop and medium eggs, a dollar seventeen. Large, dollar thirty-five, a dozen. That's a dozen, folks. And we got the jumbos at dollar thirty-nine, or the extra large, dollar thirty-six. We're gonna get some mediums. Always check your eggs, kids. You might have broken ones. We're going to have to put them where you were sitting. Woo! Biscuits are wiped out. Well, we got some here. Over here looking slim. Jello's about wiped out. Woo! And the margarine took a big hit. And of course, like you would expect, Chips are low after the weekend. Oh, we had a, both college universities playing this weekend too. Auburn playing at home. And Alabama went on down there to the great state of Louisiana and put the slap down on them this year. No, they didn't let LSU beat them by three points like last year. They put the whooping on them. LSU. It was payback time. 
Hey, what was it? 52 to 17, something like that. So, yep. Margarine here is pretty slim. Butters took a big hit too. But it's the holiday season. People are doing a lot of baking. At least in this area. Yep. And I'm going to get me some blue bonnet. 278. I use it a lot for cooking too. When I don't want to use butter. And I'm going to get me some of my favorite cheese. Dollar six, dollar ninety one for uh, 12 ounces. Wisconsin Select. Woo! Here they got the pepper jack version too. A little more pricey, 270. Well, that's okay. I'm worth it for my sandwiches for lunch. Since I don't eat out. I mean the last time I ate out this year was at that crystal. In fact that's the first time I ate out all year. Period. So I think I can splurge a little bit on the cheese. But overall, plenty of cheese. Oh, here we got food club diced tomatoes with green chili, you know, same as Rotel. 10 ounce can, 69 cents. You make some fine Quaso cheese dip or Southwest sauce. You got a recipe right there. Tex-Mex in a snap. Well, that ain't what we're here for. Y'all know it. We got to get us some of this here Philadelphia cream cheese. To go with our bagels. Yep. Get my favorite brand, Philadelphia chive and onion. Now, yeah, I could make my own. I could take some regular cream cheese go out in the yard and snip off some of my wild onions or the tame ones I got growing in the raised bed and some of my uh, wild garlic and I could soften up my cream cheese throw all that in there Ooh, maybe some garlic powder and onion powder and make me up some fine stuff like this too I've done it before yeah, maybe I will again. But I'm being lazy. Yeah, a couple of bucks. It's my treat. Yeah, yogurt's picked over. I don't yogurt. I used to. I don't no more. Plenty of ice cream. Ice creams everywhere. Pizzas. Got big holes in them. As you might imagine. After the weekend. Yep, I'm over here. One of my guilty pleasures. As you saw me fix them all up on that video the uh, frozen pizza. Don't give me four more. 77 cents. I don't care what you say. Yep. Well, this is what I've seen on other YouTube videos all around the country. Processed food. That seems to get beat up pretty bad. Plenty of holes over here in the frozen dinners. Yep, you know. Hungry man. 
Marie colanders, the pot pies, you know, stuff that I guess the youngins can fix. You know, the banquet meals, the cheap ones, $1.23. We're coming on down here to a section I got to check out. Because I've been wanting to go fishing. And I was on a live stream. One of my favorite preppers. You probably know him too. Alaska Prepper. And he was talking about how he goes fishing. And he gets them fish sticks. <laughs> oh. Well, bye, Lord. There must be a whole lot of people thinking like Rudy. Cause they almost slap out of fish sticks. Who would have thought? <laughs> of course they still do got ample amount of real fish, you know, like pollock, flounder, cod, whiting. And it looks like fish too. See? Yep. Looks like real fish. Real fish fillet. Yep. Got plenty of that. But the fish sticks, they all wiped out. But you know what? They're easy to prepare. And for the most part, they're pretty yummy too. Kids used to like them. And I'd buy them too. I just got a rag. Alaska prep or something. While I was over here fishing in his honey hole. <laughs> so y'all, that's about all we needed. And we probably didn't need all of that. You know? To be honest. But, since we're here, we was going to go ahead and get what we wanted. I can make my own garlic bread. So if there's anything y'all want to see next time I come, and that, y'all let me know. In the comments, I'll make a list. I'll try not to miss it next time. Ooh, there's my other guilty pleasure right there. White castles. Jalapeno cheese sliders. Six of them, 443. You know, I, I thought that was a lot of money for little cheeseburgers until I went to Crystal. Nope. Those darn crystals. Nearly a dollar tea each. Actually, these frozen White Castle, cheaper. Well, the hot pockets, as you can see. Or massacred. You get two hot pockets for two twenty. And I used to buy them for James. And every once in a while I'd throw one in the toaster oven and eat it. You see that picture where it shows all that moist, plump filling? I never bought a hot pocket that looked like that in the inside. You had to hunt for the filling. Well y'all hung on. Go ahead and check out. We'll talk in a bit. So y'all, as you can see, we're back in the driveway at the old home place. And I I didn't show you the ride up the ride back because it only takes like two minutes. Maybe three at the most if you have to stop, wait for traffic. As if we ever had any midday around here. And as you can saw, the store wasn't crowded at all. Of course now, granted, it's Monday, December the 7th, and you saw what the store looked like in all areas. I took you around all of them, and that's after the three largest shopping days of every week, and we all know them, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yep, or at least it's that way for poor folk, working people. And I used to be a worker too. Now I'm retired. 
and it's also the seventh, so it ain't been but a few days since government benefit checks and all that were posted. I think they come in on the first uh, through the third, which I'd forgotten all about that when I was wondering why there were so many people at Walmart and Superfoods last time I went on a Monday, which was November the 2nd, by the way, in that day before election. So, one thing I pointed out, never all throughout this virus have I ever seen fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, potatoes, onions, ever a problem. More than plenty. Here in my area, whether it was at either Superfoods location, and you can go back and you can look at those trips, or my Walmart, our local neighborhood, CarMax, up in Nagasoka, uh, the, the pig, you know, that's the electric Piggly Wiggly I took y'all to, no, never been a problem, fresh fruits and uh, produce of all types always been more than abundant and i've seen that on many other uh shopping videos in fact most of them don't even show those sections because there's absolutely never no problems and let me know in the comments if anything of what i'm saying is different in your area see that's how we all learn i do a video about my area you comment below how it's looking in your area and what your prices are and that way, we as a community can all learn how this situation is looking, not only all over America, but Canada, the UK, Australia, the list just goes on and on where now viewers of the channel are. Scotland, Ireland, I hate to miss any, Philippines, uh, yeah, Taiwan, yes sir, Singapore. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but if I did just, you know, understand don't miss Tom getting old. His old mind ain't what it used to be, especially short-term memory. But then, you know, I took you over there and we went through the meat section. You know, cold cuts were a little bit beat up, you know, the bologna, ham, stuff of that nature. But there's still plenty. I got what I needed. Bacon was plentiful. And so was, you know smoked sausages and all of that and you saw i got me some of them ziggler red hots and i know right now many of y'all don't know what those are but if you want to know i can show you i can pick some and they're down right tasty it's something i do every time around the holidays it's just something that reminds me of a long time ago and we didn't have all those other hot dogs and all those other fancy packages nope we sure didn't Many of y'all from the South remember those days. But then I took you down through, you know, dry beans. They were dry beans looking a little slim, but they were still plenty. Rice was pretty beat up. And we've seen that consistently over this year. Yep. And there are reasons for that, based on the 2019 harvest as well, is not only a pandemic. Canned goods, they're looking better. But there were some slim areas. And that, you know, green beans seem to be a fan favorite, of course. We just got over Thanksgiving, you know, all them green bean casseroles. And processed foods. Like those completes. Pasta sauces. Chef Boyardee. Uh, macaroni and cheese. Uh, canned uh, dinners like sweet Sioux chicken and dumplings. Chilies. All that was looking a little bit beat up, too. Yep. All of it's easy to prepare and can be stored for some length of time. Yep. Uh, most other canned goods were looking okay. Plenty of the staples, peas, corn, beans. Uh, some brands, not so much. Others were just fine. Tomato products, whatever, haven't looked fine in a while. Don't understand that one. I've tried to find the answer, if y'all know it, or can put me on to some articles and that just about tomatoes, commercial crops, then do so. I don't need to know what's going on 
in Bangladesh because I had no bearing on America. And I took you all down through the meet. Boy, I, that was a shocker for me too. Just like last time I was up here on Monday. Plenty of meat of all kinds, all kinds. You didn't see a bear place. And the prices, I thought were good. Of course, y'all let me know if you got better. And that plenty of hams. Yeah. In fact, they had so many, they had them in two places. Still plenty of turkeys. Yep. I wasn't too happy with the price, but they had plenty. Plenty of paper products. As you saw, plenty of toilet paper. Plenty of paper towels. Apparently, we aren't losing our mind down here in Alabama about all that. Plenty of soda. Breads. Well, of course, the chips. They were slim. Go figure. Two big football games in the state. People going to eat their chips. I didn't have any. And I didn't buy none this time either. I'm thinking about making me something my own like we used to do. Back when mom and daddy were alive. Yep. I think I will. I'll do it one night when y'all come over. What do you think? Homemade potato chips. Just like back in the day. Don't get no better than that. Milk, dairy products were looking fine. Well, then we went over to the chicken coop. <laughs> My chicken coop. Because I don't care what you say. You just can't raise chickens and raise eggs for those kind of prices. I know, done been there, done done that. And anybody that's honest about it will tell you the same thing. Now, of course, they'll tell you, well, they know how their chickens were raised, their chickens live a good life, their chickens ate the best food, and that's all good and fine if that's what you want to do. I don't. And yeah, I already know. Chickens around here might be eating some of them GMOs. But most likely not. They're probably less likely to be eating GMOs in Alabama. Because we raise them here in Alabama and we raise the feed. But they might be. And, you know, if you don't want to do that, then that's fine. Uh, raise you some high-priced eggs. But the shocker for me today was the margarine which I use some too, won't lie to you. Uh, especially now since it's got none of that there uh, bad cholesterol in it. Uh, I use it a lot in cooking. Sure do. You know. And I'm guilty of using vegetable oil sometimes too. I don't understand why the margarine was so slim. Other dairy items, cheeses, cream cheese, sliced cheese, all that was looking good. All the other types of snacks were looking good, and you saw ice cream jam up. And as always, the processed frozen items, you know, frozen pizzas, uh, all those frozen meals, Mary Colander's, uh, Swanson, uh, Boston Market, Stopers, you know, all of them. That was real beat up, too. Well, here again, easy to prepare. And, you know, that was something I was reading the other day. People were 40 and under, especially 30 and under, they don't cook much. Now, I know as soon as I say that, many of y'all might be that day. Well, I cook. Well, trust me. My daughter cooks every day, everything they eat. My son, not so much. <laughs> or any of his close associates or friends. And I know many his age or that way. And I'm just telling you what I read. Ain't my personal belief or opinion. Really don't care either way. If that's what you want to do, eat something out of the freezer out, that's your right. I used to do it from time to time when I was working insane hours. And then, hey, do me all a favor. Don't tell Rudy, because he may not see this video. Don't tell him I was over there in his honey hole fishing. You know, over there in the frozen fish stick pond. Don't tell him. Because, you know, as soon as he sees that, sees it, they're all out. He's going to accuse me of catching all the frozen fish sticks. Yep. Now, as y'all saw, I didn't even dip a line in it. I'm not the guilty one. <laughs> but all joking aside, and Rudy knows I joke with him, rag with him. 
the Sioux Southern Boy Prepper, and Lone Star Pioneer, my good old buddy Les. Or at least I hope I, they know I'm just joshing with them, having little kicks and tricks. The old man is, but I've been guilty of buying them fish sticks too back in the day, especially when the kids were living here. And like I say, I was working insane hours. But now that I'm not, I tend to wrestle me in some of them there good old cod fillets, haddock, pollock, tilapia, swall, catfish, bass, brim, you know. Cook them up myself, I do. And as always, they jazzed on up. Yeah. And we're going to be doing some of that here as the winter progresses. Trust me, you'll get to see it. And that. But, uh, as I was saying, if, as I closed out the in-store part of it, if there's something you'd like to see the next time I go, put it down in the comments. Be specific. I'll write it down. I'll make sure I fold it up neat. Put it here in the car so I don't forget it. So it's in here when I go. And I'll look for those things, especially for you out there too. Because a lot of why I do this is not only for myself, for the kids and grandkids, it's for all of you out there that just enjoy jumping on in the buggy and having a good time. Oh! And I don't know which one of you broke into the cookies on the way home and didn't share right. I told y'all. Split them up between all of y'all. And then what I got here? Bickering in the back seat. They got more than me, Papa. Yep. Well, I don't know if we'll get anything when we take the ride here in a few days. We're going to take a countryside ride. You know we are. And we're going to go to a special place. You just have to wait for that. Well, I've uh, run my mouth enough, and i got to get out of this car and do the part I hate most of all. Especially, you know, with the pandemic virus. i got to spend the next hour or two wiping everything down, letting it dry, putting it up. Oh, that part of all this is getting old. That's why I put off shopping until I'm eating the crust, the end parts of the frozen bread. <laughs> and scraping the butter bowl till you can hear it outdoors. Yep. So until I see you on the next video, Y'all take care. Stay safe. God bless you, your families and loved ones. And pray as always for our essential workers, those who defend us, and those who must work, and those with special needs in our community, and for all those in our country and the world as a whole. You know, humankind. So y'all. So, y'all, that's about it. So, we're going to have to say goodbye for now. Later, all. I don't, God, I hate this. Drag it all in, clean it all up. What a mess. Come on, Trix, you got to help me now. Or you don't get your special treat. Right here it is. Right here. See? Here you go. There's your special treat. Yeah, that's yours. See? I told you she knows. <laughs> See her rubbing the box? She knows that's hers. And she ain't gonna be happy when Gracie wakes up and comes out here. No, she's not. Especially considering where Gracie's at. You ain't gonna be able to see this well. There's Gracie in Trixie's basket with her blankie. Aren't you, Gracie? No wonder Trixie ain't happy. Are you, Trixie? Are you not happy? Huh? Come on, help Papa put this up. We ain't got that much. I already put half of it up. Refrigerator stuff. No, Trix. You're not getting that yet. Not until you help me get all this wiped down 
Don't tell me no. You're not having that. You got wet food. I know you love meow mix in those cups. Okay? But after we get it all wiped down, okay? Well, y'all, I got to get back to work. Wiping everything down. Getting her put up. Trixie will help. As soon as I turn off the cam. I ain't too sure about Gracie. She's all snuggled up in Trixie's blanket, as you saw. In Trixie's basket. Well, until next time, folks. Later.